In class 11th, when I opted for physics, chemistry and biology, I only knew about MBBS or BDS as career options. And if I was not able to clear the exam, BSc was the only other thing left. And so many years down the lane, not much has changed. Most of the students with PCB background focus on NEET. But with around 77,000 MBBS seats, 27,000 BDS seats, not everyone can get through. Hey all, I am Manit Sani, a child psychologist and a career counsellor. And in today's video, we'll be talking about all the various careers which you can pursue after studying bio in class 12 and the important exams which you should focus on. This video is for all those students who want a career in life sciences, want to study bio but do not want to be a doctor. So the first thing what you can go in for is BSc. BSc is of two types, BSc General and BSc Honours. BSc General is good for ones who want to pursue teaching or want to go in for competitive exams after graduation. BSc Honours is a specialization in a particular subject, Botany or Zoology and is excellent for the ones who want to pursue a career in research. Researchers are hired by agencies like UNESCO, UNICEF or Red Cross. There are many agencies which focus on research, ISAs being the prominent one. They offer BS, MS dual degree. There are seven ISAs in India and they admit students on the basis of KVPY or NEET score. So don't forget to fill your KVPY exam. If you are interested in teaching, you can go in for an integrated BSc BA course which is offered by almost all the universities. Another important exam which you should focus on is NEST exam that is the National Entrance Screening Test through which you can get admission into a 5 years integrated MSc program at Nizer Bhuvneshwar or University of Mumbai in the Department of Atomic Energy. There are some more BSc courses which are picking up, BSc Agriculture being the prominent one. All states have agricultural universities. Some universities offer integrated BSc MSc programs. If you have loved the programs like CID and are interested to analyze the objects from the crime scene, then BSc in Forensic Sciences is a good option for you. You can also go in for BSc in Microbiology, the entrance to which is either on merit base or competitive exams. BSc in Food Technology is another upcoming field. With so many packed foods coming in the market, this industry is really picking up. BSc Biotechnology is another course which is picking up. Here you would be going in for the study of cellular and biomolecular processes to improve people's health and lives. Another BSc which people are usually not aware is BSc in Medical Microbiology. By doing this course, you get jobs in pathological labs, food industry, pharmaceutical companies and also employed as lecturers in universities. Students with bio background can also opt for BSc in Geology. This is a three-year course which involves the study of rocks, minerals and other substances that are found on the earth's surface. BSc in Kinesiology is another trending course. It studies the mechanism of body movements and muscular movements. By doing this course, you can work as occupational therapists, athletic trainers, fitness instructors or exercise physiologists. BSc in Sports Nutrition and Kinesiology is offered by many Indian and foreign universities. One of the careers for biology students is BSc in Psychology. You can have a career in Clinical Psychology or Industrial Psychology and if you are interested in sports, you can also go in for sports psychology. There are many paramedical courses which the bio students should be aware of. BSc Nursing being one of the most prominent ones. If you finish your MSc in Nursing, you can be absorbed as lecturers in various nursing colleges. Bachelors of Physiotherapy or BPT is another course which the bio students can opt for. This course is of 4 years duration with 6 months of clinical internship. 
This program involves the science of physical movement aimed at preventing disease and disability. Bio students can also go in for B Pharma or Pharma D. Pharma D is a six-year doctorate program. Do you know that Bits Pilani also offers B Pharm courses? So look out for Bits at exams. Another line which is open to bio students is BS in optometry. By doing this course, you can open an eye clinic and get into the business of specs. One of the courses which people are usually not aware of is BASLP, that is Bachelors of Audiology and Speech Language Pathology. They deal with speech problems like stammering, stuttering, and with hearing problems. With most of the work and studies going online, the use of earpods and headphones is increasing, and so is the demand for courses like optometry and BASLP. Nimhans in Bangalore is another autonomous university of national importance. It offers courses in BSc Nursing, Radiography, Anesthesia Technology. It has its own entrance exam, so look out for that. You can also go in for BSc in Home Science, which is a three-year undergraduate program, and it deals with nutrition and health. Whatever course interests you, Google search the top colleges. fee structure and the duration of the course if possible go in for the government colleges as the fee structure is comparatively low as compared to the private colleges further if you require more information about any of the careers you can contact me the contact details are given in the description box below stay connected